Hi, this is Michelle, your independent Scentsy Consultant, and it has been a hot minute. Let's just go on and say it's been a hot minute. And I'm at the beach, if this looks a little bit different, so I just wanted to make sure that I take you with me wherever we go. So I brought a bus basket full of <laughs> smells with shells. So I want to go through all of this with you, what I've been warming, what I've been using in my Scentsy life um, for the past, I guess, what, two months or so um, since I've done a smells with shells uh, video. So I just wanted to go through this and just kind of let you see and give you my opinion on it, what everything is. Um, if there's something that I've used that you've used, drop a comment and let me know what you think about it. So let's just get rid of these big guys first and Scentsy bricks. So I went through two of these bricks, um, and y'all, it smells amazing. Let me just tell you, this was one of our holiday bricks last year, um, sugar plum berry and uh it is amazing it's all i love all things fruity and this is one of the ones that is just it's a warm fruity scent so if you are into fruits but you are transitioning into fall or whatever this would be one of the bars that you like i'm hoping it's going to come back again this year because it just is really that good um, so I have gone through two bricks of sugar plum berry scentsy bricks and also our bricks are almost equivalent to six bars. Um, it's like five and a half bars. It is a pound of wax literally as big as my head and um, you can get these specifically in club if you join the club or if you are in club take a look at our brick selection we have some regular everyday scents um, that are in our brick collection so on top of saving money in your club you're also going to be able to um, get a better deal by purchasing a brick of your favorite scent not all scents are in there but there is a lot of them in there in scentsy club so that's one I have a lot, a lot of bars. So, um, we are gonna go through these and let me just pull out some that I see right quick because these are some of my favorites and they are my favorites because they are in my club and I use them quite often. So, I might find some more in the bottom, but Right now, I'm just kind of fishing through. Oh, nope, there's another brick. <laughs> so here's another brick that I have warmed. This one is Summer Berry Melon. This was from our spring brick collection that we had. Our um, Normally we have just one brick collection come out and that's in the fall for our holiday bricks, but since he blessed us with some bricks this spring, and this one was my favorite one, of course, berry, summer berry melon. And um, I forgot I warmed this one. Oh gosh, that does smell good. And anytime we have a brick special like this and you're in club, you can go and get a regular size bar of this brick and put it in your club if you love this scent for forever. I should have done that with this one but maybe this scent will come back, Summer Berry Melon. So that one was a good one too. So we're gonna sit that over there. I don't think I have any more bricks. Um, but I am digging through the wax bars that I've used. Let me pull out some of these bigger items and we'll go back to that because this is one of my favorites, and you're gonna know this for sure, strawberry basil. So this came out a couple of years ago, and this is, oh my God, by far one of my most faves. So I'm getting ready to go, uh, y'all. It's an addiction, what can I say? <laughs> and let's just, let's just um, preface this by saying, when I change my wax, it takes me a good, seven or eight full bars to change my wax. I have 51 warmers in my house going at any given moment. 
and I love to use wax. So what better business to be in than this? So I'm pulling out literally all of the strawberry basils that I can find. Um, because there's a lot of them and I, no shame in my game. That's what I have it in Scentsy Club for. I mean, let's just keep pulling it out here. <laughs> let's see if I have any more. Oh, I might be to the end. Nope, oh, there's one more. I might be to the end of the strawberry basil. Nope, oh, there's another one. As you can tell, it's the best thing ever when you have it in your Scentsy Club. So, um... I will never run out of it. Okay. All right. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> eight. I'm telling you, it's an addiction. Gosh, yes. Nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14. So let's just say I probably did this scent twice. So in one week's time, I probably did two weeks of this scent because I have so many empty clamshells of this. Um, so 14 of my absolute fave strawberry basil. That is in my club. I get three of these bars every month and I wish I would have put more in there. So, um, lesson learned for me because in the club, you can put as many as you want, but whenever you decrease your amount of it, you don't ever get those back when these are forever get my bars. So, you can always get your bar, but if you change the frequency of it or the amount of it, it cannot go back up. So, lesson learned. I get three of these every month and you better believe your girl builds them up until she can use them all in her house. Now, for me, and let me know how you feel about this. Do you mix scents? Because that's something that I've never done, and I really need to know, like, what are your feelings on that? Like, would you take a It's Love and a Strawberry Basil and mix it together and make your own kind of scent? Have you ever done that? Drop that in the comments because I would love to know which scents are your favorites to mix because honestly, I've been doing this since July of 2015 and I have never mixed scents together. I don't know why I need to, but I don't know why, but a lot of people say that they do that. So, let me know what yours is. All right, so the next one we're going to go to, of course, is It's Love. This was from our Valentine collection a few years ago. Yes, this one is in my club also. And let me see how many of these I have in here because this is another fave that I have. That is just amazing to me, and I love it. Tense, it's love. Um, might be all of it's love. Nope, there's one more. And let's see. I think that's all of those. Yep, that's all of it's love. Okay, so I have, this one is, it's not as strong a strawberry basil. Of course, it is a little bit of berry. I don't have the description for it. Um, you cannot get this one anymore. So, if you want this one, you're going to have to, like, be real sweet to your girl here because this one's in my club and it smells amazing. So, let's see how many of these I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and ten. Ten of its love. Oh my gosh. That, it's an addiction. I'm just telling you, it's, it's an addiction. Um, all right, so there's ten of those. And y'all, look, I still have a bunch more to go. <laughs> all right, now let's go to the next one. Um, this one is one that I also have in my club. I keep one bar of it in my club and um, it is currently in the catalog. So if it's something that you think that you might want and that you might think you would like, um, it is currently in our catalog, but that is getting ready to go away um, at the end of this month. So 
at some point I warmed three of the blue agave and melon. So this one is one that, um, it's also a light scent. Um, it is, it's very strong berry scent to me. Very strong, um, also with a little hint of citrus to me. So that it hints that melon part about it, you know. Um, it is a sweet scent, but it's not really, really sweet. Um, but it's a really good, um, it's a good mix of like the berry and the citrus. So blue agave and melon, and I have warmed three of these. All right, now let's go to the next one. Now this one, I put it in my club. Okay, so when we have a limited time offer that comes out, one of the things that I like to do is to chunk a bar in my club just to make sure that I can smell it, number one, if I'm not gonna order whatever it goes in with the product that it goes in, but just so I can smell it and see how I'm gonna like it. Um, and then I'll go from there. I'll be the judge of it whenever I go from there. But surprisingly for me, I'm glad I did put it in my club because this was the first time I actually warmed this scent and I'm really glad I did and I'm really glad I put it in my club. This is Big Hero 6. This is um, Would You Like a Hug? And oh my God, y'all, I never thought that I would really like, like this, but when I warmed it, and it's been a hot minute, look at that. It's got wax all over everywhere. Y'all, this one smell. This one is really rich. Okay, so this one is really rich, and deep, deep scent, and it it will fill your whole house up, honestly and true. Um, it does have the berry in it. Um, like I like most of my bars have the berry scent, but this one is like a much warmer, deeper scent than any of these other ones that I have that are like more citrusy and stuff. Big Hero Six. Been warming this one and I have gone through one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven of these. So, seven of these. I've also gone through those. So, Big Hero 6. That's in my club too. Um, all right. So, let's go to the next one. So, the next one is really fun. Um, I also had this in my club. I have one bar in my club because here again, it's a limited time offer and I did not know if I was going to enjoy it or not, but clearly I'm still bringing them out. So clearly I did. <laughs> and um, yeah, so it is Zoinks by Scooby-Doo. Um, this one is, y'all, this, this one is really good. This one has a um, definite citrusy fruit to it definitely citrusy smell to it it um i had I, I don't have a lot of good reception here at the beach um so i had all of these scents written down or on my computer but if there's a scent that i'm going over that you absolutely want to know about let me know because um i can get you the scent descriptions for these this one is um this one is kind of Definitely, you can smell the um, citrus a little bit in it, um, but this one is, it's more like a warmer scent to me also, um, but this one is Zoinks, Scooby-Doo Zoinks, and I have one, two, three, four, five, so evidently, seven is the amount of bars it takes for me to, sorry, I'm back, I'm going to have to like literally put this together. <laughs> Here's to learning how to edit videos. So here is Zoinks and you can, in just a minute, you can um, get the scent description of this one and um, clearly seven is my magic number for the number of warmers that I have in my house to warm. All right, let's go on to the next one. Since I see a bunch of it in here. I have five of these. This one is Ruby Nectarine. You can already tell, hey, very fruity, very nectarine-y, very citrusy. Um, and it is, um, 
it was in my club. I did take it out of my club, but I'm really excited that um, I did warm this and I liked it a lot. If it ever comes back as a bring back my bar, then your girl's gonna have that. But that one's called Ruby Nectarine. And then I have two of this one. This one is another limited time offer. This one is Moana. And I have warmed two of these. I think this was all that I had left. And um, I warmed two of these. This one is, it's almost, I, don't, I get it like a whiff of cherry, kind of whenever I smell this one. It's almost like a cherry kind of berry scent to me. Um, but I warmed two of those. And these next ones I have just one of each of them. Okay, this is an OG, all right? And I have one cube left of this one, but can we just talk about blueberry cheesecake? This is, mm, this is what turned me on to bakery, okay? So I was not really a bakery fan, but when I started warming this one, it is exactly what it smells like, blueberry cheesecake. So if you're thinking about biting into a blueberry cheesecake, this is what you want to get. So if you love all bakery scents, you're gonna wanna try this one. This one lasts forever. When you put your scent in, you're gonna get a good long extended scent from Blueberry Cheesecake. It is amazing. And I'm gonna sit it over here cause I have one cube left and I'm not getting rid of that. I might put it here at the beach. Um, the next one is Jack Skellington. So this one is a fall scent. Hopefully it'll be back. I don't know if it will because it was a limited time offer and I have a few of these left, but this one is a warm apple scent. This is what I get out of it. I smell apple whenever I'm warming this one. So if you really love it, Jack's Obsession is a definite good apple scent that you want to try if it comes back. I will let you know. And then last but not least, this one is in our catalog. This one is going away. So definitely going to be club worthy. Definitely going to go in my club because I'm not going to let this one get by me. This is watermelon tangerine. And you know, all things fruity, all things Michelle. And this is, oh God, that's, we have this in like our body line. This is so, so good. Watermelon Tangerine. I only have one of these in here for some reason. I don't know why because I love this one and I know I got some more bars, but this one made the cut somewhere. Maybe in my office at work. That's probably where this came from. So that is currently all of my bars that I have. I wanted to show you this. This is our cotton cleanup. It's one that I went through. I just wanted to make sure that you guys saw it. Y'all, this thing is so heavy with wax. It has soaked up about three or four warmers and a couple bugs of wax. And these are also on my personal website. They are, um, you get 25 of these for $10 and they are on sale this month. You just dip it in your warmer, do a little bit of twist, pull it out and go to the next warmer and do that. But these are a lifesaver for sure. Um, and then let's get with my last few items. I have, of course, gone through a tub of jammy time. Mm, this is my favorite. This is my favorite laundry um, washer whiffs right here, jammy time. These last me about a month. Um, they come with a little scoop. I took the scoop out, but they come with a little scoop and you just like take your scoop out, put it inside your washing machine, and then your clothes smell amazing. I love to wash my sheets with this and just get into some fresh, clean jammy time scents. Absolutely amazing. Um, I also have our smaller one. So we have this size in the washer whiffs. Oh, and it has the little scooper in here. There you go. So this is the scooper that comes in both sides. You just do a little scoop and it's good to go. So we have this size for washer whiffs and we have the big tub size for washer whiffs um so definitely grab you some of these like i said they're on sale this month but you don't want to miss out on your laundry smelling amazing a little bit goes a long way also um i have these pods coconut lemongrass they have just a little little bit of scent left but i had these in my scentsy go this month 
And each one of these pods is 120 hours worth of scent. And these are the ones that I used this month in my um, Scentsy Go. So these are coconut lemongrass. They smell amazing. They still have a little bit of smell to them, but yes, I love our pods. And peep this, we got a new products coming out for the Scentsy Pod. So wait till you see what that is. Um, jammy time again, of course. This is our body wash. Going through that, it might have just a little drop down there, but um, this is our body wash that we have, um, comes in our body line, and um, it has the same scent as our laundry detergent and our bars. We got jammy time and all the things, and this is one of my most relaxing, calming scents. It is freesia, lavender, and sweet pea, if you want to know what jammy time scent is and why I love it so much. And last but not least, the holy grail of Scentsy Counter Clean. Um, this is one that I've gone through, squeeze the day. This is um, pure lemon scent. So if you love cleaning your house with kitchen, your kitchen with lemon or anything like that to get that fresh, clean lemon scent, you are gonna want to try squeeze the day in all the things. Um, this is our counter clean. I use this on all the things. Um, not just our counters, but um, this is stuff is like magic in a bottle. So if you want a sample of this, let me know. Drop it in the comments. Shoot me a message, and I will get you a sample of my most favorite product, which is Counter Clean. So that's a lot. I know it's a lot, <laughs> um, but hopefully you got some good information out of this. And I am going to like empty my bin now and start all over again. So to get ready for the next Smells With Shells. But if you got any questions at all, if you want some samples of anything, drop me a message in the comments or shoot me a text message. And I will see you again on my next video. Talk to you soon. Bye.